Hi everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now today I am at All Saints Church in Devizes um, and we've come to find the final resting place of George Baker, an amazing actor. I'll tell you a little bit about him real soon. Um, had quite an interesting life, uh, was considered to play James Bond, in case you didn't know. Again, I will tell you and fill you in on that soon. Um, and is a well-known name in television, really. And, you know, you see the picture, uh, you'll recognise him straight away. Of course, played Inspector Wexford as well. So um, I'll tell you a little bit more about George real soon. Now, if you like the video today, um, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. This is a beautiful location. It's one of those ones where we're sort of like, not necessarily in the middle of nowhere, but uh, it's a nice little village location, okay? So I'll tell you some information on George. Of course, we will try and get into the church, as always, um, and then we'll visit his final resting place. So uh, don't forget, leave your comments down below. Okay, of course, as we've been having a look around, we've spotted the church, and you know that it's rude not to, don't you? It's one of those things that we have to do these days, ladies and gentlemen. We have to do it, it's the law. One part of the puzzle complete. Let's have a look. Yes. Okay. This is where you come if you ever get christened. We just fancy a free bath, put a bit of water on your head. Wow, look at that stained glass, a little tiny one. It always amazes me when you see those sort of ones up there. Let's have a little look around here, shall we? Oh, the door's opened by itself. Very strange. Beautiful. Take a pew. Sorry, my jokes are getting worse. <clears throat> wow, look at that. Clear stained glass. It's almost like at Christmas when you see like the frosted windows. I don't know how that's showing up on camera. Hopefully it's okay. Now, when I walked in, this caught the corner of my eye. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, uh, who's, who we got down here? Um, Sarah Harvest, his name. Okay, 1672. Any of you history buffs out there want to look into that? You're more than welcome to do so if you can see it. In life, the body of Henry Danvers, Esquire. It's like Bill and Ted, isn't it? Bill S. Preston, Esquire. Ted Theodore Logan. And they are the wild stallions. <laughs> Excuse me. I try to be serious. Wow, look at this. Now, if you're gonna go and you end up in that pose, it's gonna hurt your shoulder after a little while, isn't it? <laughs> and this poor person, bless him, covered up by a TV. 
I can see why. Imagine if those eyes open now. Wow. You'd see how fast I can run then. And what have we got over here? In memory of the Reverend Robert Clark Caswell. Wow, look at that. Lovely little place. What a beautiful little church. Lovely, isn't it? Okay, we'll carry on now and hear all about George. George Morris Baker, MBE, 1st of April 1931 to the 7th of October 2011, was an English actor and writer. He was best known for portraying Tiberius in I, Claudius and Inspector Wexford in the Ruth Rendell Mysteries. Baker was born in Varna, Bulgaria. His father was an English businessman and honorary vice council, and his mother was an Irish Red Cross nurse who moved to Bulgaria to help fight cholera. He attended Lansing College, Sussex. He then appeared as an actor in repertory theatre at the Old Vic. His first film was The Intruder, 1953. He made his name in The Dam Busters, 1955, and his first starring role was in The Ship That Died of Shame, 1955, with Richard Attenborough. Over time, Baker became better known as a television actor. He had the heroic lead in Rupert of Hentzor in 1964, played security chief in Thalon in Undermind 1965, and was the second to Guy Dolman of many actors to portray the role of number two in the series The Prisoner, appearing in the first episode. He portrayed the character of George King in Dennis Potter's The Bone Grinder, 1968, a metaphor for the decline of the British Empire and the rise of the American power in the post-war world. He appeared in his own TV comedy series, Bowler. He was also in the first episode of Some Mothers Do Have Them, playing a company boss interviewing the show's hapless main character. In the acclaimed 1976 drama serial, I, Claudius, Baker played the Emperor Tiberius Caesar. George R. R. Martin, author of the book series, a Song of Ice and Fire, which was later adapted into TV's Game of Thrones, has stated that the historical Tiberius and Baker's performance in particular were part of the inspiration for his character, Stannis Baratheon. He also appeared in an episode of Get Some In. In 1977, he starred as Inspector Roderick Allen in the Nagasio Marsh Theatre, four adaptations of the crime and mystery novels of Nagasio Marsh, with New Zealand settings in a production for New Zealand television. From 1987 to 2000, he played Inspector Reg Wexford in numerous television adaptations of Mysteries by Ruth Rendell, and this is probably the role for which he became become best known. In 1993, following the death of his second wife, he married the actress Lou Ramsey, who played Mrs Wexford in the same television series. He also appeared in the Baron Survivors Minder in Series 1, you Got to Have Friends, Coronation Street as brewery owner Cecil Newton, in the Doctor Who story Full Circle as twin brothers in the 2005 episode of Midsummer Murders titled The House in the Woods. He also appeared in the British comedy television series The Goodies episode Tower of London as the chief beef eater, as well as in the sitcom No Job for a Lady and he is popularly known for playing Captain Benson, the James Bond ally in the film Spy Who Loved Me and for playing Sir Hilary Bray, a heraldry expert in On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Later, when Bond played George Lazenbury, impersonates Bray to gain access to Blowfield, Baker's voice was dubbed in place of Lazenbury to provide the accent. Baker also played an uncredited NASA engineer in You Only Live Twice. 
Ian Fleming considered Baker to be the ideal candidate to play James Bond in the films, but the role went to Sean Collery because Baker had prior commitments. He played a character called Jameis Bondus in an episode of the 1970s farcical sitcom Up Pompeii. In 1980, Baker wrote Fatal Spring, a play for television dealing with the lives of poets Wilfred Owen, Siegfried Sassoon and Robert Graves. This appeared on BBC Two on the 7th of November 1980. It won him a United Nations Peace Award. His other writing credits included four of the Wexford screenplays. Baker was the subject of This Is Your Life in 1995, when he was surprised by Michael Aspel during a photo shoot on board a boat at Port Solent on the Hampshire coast. He has also appeared on Lily Savage's Blankety Blank. In 2007, he was made a member of the Order of the British Empire, MBE, for his charitable work helping establish a youth club in his home village. His third wife, Louis Ramsey, who died earlier in 2011, played his on-screen wife, Dora, in the Ruth Rendell Mysteries. Baker was survived by five daughters, four from his first marriage, one from his second to Sally Holm. His granddaughter, Kim Sherwood, is a writer. Her debut novel, Testament, was inspired by her paternal grandmother's experience of the Holocaust, as well as her grief over Baker's death. She was selected in 2021 to write a trilogy of James Bond books, the franchise of which Baker participated in several of its film adaptations, becoming the first woman to do so. He died on the 7th of October 2011 at the age of 80. He died of pneumonia after a stroke. So there's all the information there on George Baker and what an amazing actor he was and to think that he almost became James Bond before Sean Connery got the role and that Ian Fleming really wanted him to have that part is amazing. I didn't know about that until I was doing my research on um, George himself. So um, I've been having a good look around and you know what? I think I found it. To be fair, it's a nice little small cemetery stroke churchyard and uh, it sort of stands out a little bit. I'll show it to you. Now the reason why it stands out is because it's gone for the like natural stone. Uh, when you look at all the others, they're all quite fairly new. Um, and let's come down and have a little look here. Of course, George's um, wife is buried with him. So Sally Home, wife of George Baker, a mother to Sarah, September the 1930 to March 1992. And of course, George Baker, actor and writer, April 1931 to October 2011. Much loved. For thy sweet love remembered such wealth. Uh, what's this bit? Brings. Put that back up there because that's fallen over. <clears throat> so there we have it, the final resting place of George Baker and of course his wife, actress Sally Holm as well. So a massive thank you to Sally and to George for entertaining many of us over the years, especially things like, you know, um, playing Inspector Wexford as well and the possibility where he could have been a James Bond, but was too busy. And uh, Sean Connery, of course, got the role. Bless you, Sally. Bless you, George. Thank you so much. Ooh, mind my head. Um, so yeah, it's one of those ones where, oops, too close. It's one of those ones where I didn't realize that George Baker had been gone for so long. I thought that he'd only passed in the last three or four years or so. And it wasn't until I was doing my research and I was like, oh, wow, 2011. Because you see his picture and you think, I've seen him on telly recently, but of course we would have seen him on probably the reruns on Gold TV or BBC or something like that. Um, so yeah, he's got one of those faces that's very distinguishable. And, uh, you know, it just appears that he's only been passed not too long ago, but in theory, 13 years. But there you go. Uh, now I bumped into a lovely lady who I saw whilst walking through here. She had a black Labrador with her. 
Um, and I was conscious, as I always am when I'm walking behind people, people in cemeteries, especially ladies and stuff, not to appear to be filming them. Um, she, you know, she said, oh, you're not filming me. I said, no, nope, not filming you. Um, but it's nice, you know, she engaged and we were talking about the channel and things like that. And uh, she said she might have a look. So if you are watching this, I didn't catch your name, but hello. And uh, thank you for having a chat whilst we were walking for the cemetery. But yeah, um, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, George Baker. Now, leave your comments down below if, uh, if you remember George from anything in particular. And, um, you know, he'd done a lot of TV done a few movies as well and of course if you like the video today give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel and make sure you leave your comments won't you and i will see you all on the next one take it easy